Hey y'all, this is Urs, and welcome back to our Scandi Melee, as we are on the verge of declaring war against Oscar. The mighty, mighty Oscar. Now the grouchy Oscar, honestly, he's kind of being a bum with everything, but anyway, that's alright. We still love ya, baby. Alright, uh, Destroyer coming up. How many turns do we have on this trade arc? Honestly, it's the only thing that matters. Uh, what's not the one? Three turns, okay, so, uh, I might be asked to down him before then. That could be problematic. Take it one more tile, just to make sure I can devastate something if need be. Uh, I might be okay. I'm not entirely certain, though. If I do need to dowel, though, it's gonna be kind of important to get the first move, otherwise we're gonna get shut up in our carrier a little. A little more than I would like. Alright, so it looks like he's turkling the wagons a tad. I guess he's getting suspicious, which is smart. Um, but, you know, it's going to be the same issue here. We want to make sure that the Danish Norwegians do not take Christiana uh, before we're able to. That's kind of the same situation we had with Norway uh, before, earlier. Uh, you're probably okay, but that is... Oh my god, how much oil is that? I just noticed. That's 13 oil in Stavanger. Oh, my territorial ambitions are getting bigger. This would help me connect my empires a little easier, right? Am I right? 13 oil. Like, look at that lucky luxury strike. Damn. I mean, strategic strike. Damn. I want your cities, man. That's ridiculous. Mannerheim's got the Manhattan Project. Right, this is getting a little worrisome now. Maybe I should build it somewhere just to freak him out with the uh, whole counter-nuking situation. Here, I think we're going to have to start replacing these with trade uh, posts a little. Let's do that. Uh, trading post. You changed. Okay, fine. Playing whack-a-mole again, but we'll be all right. Uh, we're getting some happiness. Some more military buildings are coming up, and that's going to be a good source. Come in this direction. Uh, we should be fine with that, though I'm a little concerned about my... Well, you're not in range of a battleship, and that's okay. The issue is him getting a first shot on my carrier, but all my aircraft, I'm going to double-check now, are all on intercept. Yes, intercept. I. I Captain. Awake. I. Intercept, awake, aye, uh, good, and we have two turns on our trade route. Yeah, hopefully we'll get this um, before we have to Dow, but I'm not sure. I think I might have to Dow this turn, uh, or this coming turn. Hi, Sweden. Swedish battleships. But you got the Torden skill there, so they have better defense and less attack, so it's going to be harder than... Yeah, all right, we're going to have to... We're, we, I don't want to be an Oathbreaker, um, but this is going to get messy in a second. Luckily, he didn't get the first shot on me, so. A couple city-states, a couple things are going to start going to hell. Wow, a lot of stuff going on. Alright, completed, yeah. I wouldn't be able to compete with this, I don't think. I might have, actually. You know? It's only been four turns. I probably would have missed it by, like, ten or something. That's okay. Golden Age is important, though. And now we are officially at war, which means we have to employ our submarines to make great benefit of great nation of Normandy. Uh, we have stuff coming. We have machine-type gunners. We have infantry-type units. We don't have much coming from this direction, obviously, so we're going to bring our artillery back and use them to fire upon our enemies. Uh, go here. Yes, fine. Set up. You can't fire now. It's okay. We're going to still beat the hell out of you. Oh, his empire's unhappy. Our Vilnian empire's unhappy. Oh, no. Whatever shall we do? I feel, I feel so vulnerable. Uh, we can go here, and then we can bang him in the face a little. Bang! And you, we can hit. Can we kill? Almost. Almost. Free policy, though, and that's really important. Um, I could take Klauswitz's now, or I could take Total War, and this is really nice. 25 reduction of military units, and military units start with 15% more, exp I mean, 15 extra experience, flat. That's really good. I think I'll take the next one as Klauswitz's Legacy to close the game out, but I really like Total War. It's really strong. I mean, this would be nice, too, for money. I mean, tier 2, I said, Autocracy so strong right now. So hot right now. All right, go here. Get Total War. I love this tenet. It's epic. In reality, Total War is horrifying, but in policy terms, it's what? Ow! What the hell? Horseman! You pillaged one of my Mott and Baileys? Do really? Now I have all of them set up. Oh, crap. They really went after me with Pikemen and... Are you... <laughs> wow! Vatican City! Ambitious much? Holy hell! They really pulled it out. What can I buy? Uh, let's see. I can buy a mosque if I feel like it. 
That's about it, eh? Um, I, I think... I mean, we're not going to be getting great people anytime soon with this. It's going to be quite some time. But it's okay. Downside is we lost a little bit of cash. We're down a trade route. I can replace that. That is no problem. I really don't need that to kill the knight. So why don't you just go here and... I mean, the horseman. Not even a knight. Freaking embarrassing, dude. Just, just go away. Like, seriously, this is just sad. Why would you... What is this? I don't even... Like, you have no chance to survive. Make your time. Just... Why? Like, there's not even a challenge. Like, why would you send three units like that? That's stupid. That's bad and you should feel bad. Just right now, I'm gonna pillage your cows. There. How do you like it when I pillage your cows? I'm gonna pillage all your crap with my horsemen. My cavalry. Because I have not... I don't have horsemen. I have cavalry. I'm gonna pillage all your stuff. Jackass. Alright. That was really... I don't know why. I have no idea why. Golden Age. Good. World's Fair completed. Yeah, we saw that. We saw that. Just put that. Go away. Go away. World Leader. Not worried. No one's gonna be close to winning this, I don't think. Yeah, we need 40 votes. Yeah, we're fine. They're actually pretty well spread here. Go away. Geneva. So I have a lot of city-states dowing me right now. Uh, Vilnius is one of them. Which is a minor issue. Um, in that... Uh, they have ships that can pillage my routes, but that's what the defensive submarine... And the battleship is for that's finished, so that's all right. Let's finish this. <laughs> Kill me. All right. Uh, we probably am more worried. We probably am more worried about the privateers. A couple bad luck shots, and suddenly we're in a. This this no Kabul Kabul is Finnish ally, so that's fine. Okay. Let's. Oh, you can fire at this right now. Yeah, that's gonna be game. Oh, really? Really now? Okay, whatever. More experience for my battleships. Uh, I'm gonna keep this battleship just here, in case. Well, I don't think there's another... The Vatican may try to circle around. No, I can't go through Iceland. So this is relatively safe, I think, for now. Uh, <laughs> watch the game prove me wrong. But a little more experience wouldn't hurt. I'm going to keep my oil. Oil, very, very safe right now. So wine and marble to Oscar. And that was going to end anyway. He's got guarded, so I'm not too worried about that trade. Uh, I can't trade my wine to anyone else except for the Danes, who don't like me that much right now. Uh, then just three... I like how he scratched his beard. He's like, no. No. All right, three. Thank you. Yeah, we kind of got a deal going or something. All right. Okay, so the good thing is Christian's at war too. So I think he's going to be occupying his Western fleet more or less well here. I don't want to let them necessarily see. Holy crap, they found me. They found me. They found me. <laughs> I was just saying, like, I don't want to really let them see the fact that my destroyers are like, ah, crap. Okay, it's all right. Uh, our sub is coming out in four, so in case there's anything in the water that I need to worry about. I would like to... Oh, no, it's Norwegian. It's not Swedish Norwegian. Never mind. It's fine. Uh, okay, so it looks like the city-state issues are more or less under control. What we do need to deal with is the rest of the ship issues, but that should be done handily. Thanks to that extra movement. I'm really glad we snooshed that wonder from under him. He does have a defense bonus. Look at that. He's actually pretty tough. Oh, you tough boy. Uh, well, we're gonna have to kill the melee ships. Those are the dangerous ones, because the computer can't use its range ships very well. Uh, we might need all three to kill the battleship, so let's do that. Remember, these aren't, like, super veteran, uh, submarines. Yeah, look at that. We're not gonna waste that. We're gonna sink that with one. We're gonna use our battleship to kill that battleship, and then we're gonna knock the city down with everything else. Hi, bye, okay. You don't have logistics yet, so you're not really the biggest issue. Who has logistics here? Raise your hand. There you go. Okay, so one. So starting here, one, two, three, four is where I need to put you. That's fine. And I don't see any, any nasty things. Okay, you have two movements still. Anyone else with logistics? I thought I had another one. Logistics. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I still can't use my logistics firing with this guy. So I'm just gonna put him back here and use him to blow up this battleship. That's all we're gonna be. He's gonna be good for at this point anyway. Okay, so now the the Admiral needs to come up to support firing positions. Admiral needs to come here to defend that. Probably should have done that backwards, but that's okay. I don't think it's plus one range on these guys. Nope. And, well, if I could see the turd and skill, then I'd know, but I obviously do not. <sighs> Why don't you just plop there with everything else, just right on the carrier? This job sucks, I know. Um, okay. Uh, beautiful. So plus one range, we can start whacking these turd and skills down. Those silly Torden skills. He has armor as well. Archaeologists I'm not worried about. Let's start hitting, I guess, these. They're dangerous. And we'll work on the city with them. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, he can't fire at me, so that's fine. I'm assuming he can't fire at me. Let's just hope he doesn't have plus one range. 
Uh, take that ping. All right, it's going a little faster than I expected. I, I figured 115 strength would be a little more than that. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Yep, boom. And he's obviously going to be bringing troops back. He's going to be uh, defending his borders to the best of his ability, which is admirable. Uh, one, two, three. So I could go here and ping it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I can do this. Can I watch my coasts here? Make sure the Torden skills don't start thinking that they can actually whoop me. And we'll use the infantry maybe to take it. Or if we get our... If this thing ever gets to us, which is questionable at this point because it did kind of see me, uh, we'll be able to use that as a melee ship. Okay. You finally finish your factory. Thank God. All right, you go here. Thank you. That's even more production. Oh, look at this. Now we can actually build stuff here. God, you need factories so badly. Okay. Um... What can we build? Well, I think we should build a Manhattan Project, so everyone thinks that I can nuke them, and with all the uranium I have, probably important. So let's let's get the Manhattan Project out here. Uh, I'm actually, we still have that much production right now. I'm going to staff my bank and my market. It's more science, and it's less unemployment, I guess, you know. All work for every people and all that stuff. Once I get the factories, I'll probably be doing that everywhere, honestly. All right, so you, you, Geneva's new ally already. Yeah, I know in war with Vilnius, but Geneva... Oh, I, it's, it's that ally. That's freaking unfortunate, but Geneva's way in the corner. Oh, wait, hold on. That's just to give me an idea. Where was Geneva? There's another landmass out here. That's, yeah, it's probably Iceland, such, maybe even Greenland if we go west enough. So, yeah, okay, there are probably some cities out there that maybe the Swedish Norwegians knew about and they're going after. That makes sense. Rail, rail. This is rail, so we just need one more rail here. So that's pretty much the end of that rail connection problem. I Means y'all can do your favorite thing and make a uranium mine. It's like, this sucks. We're not covered for this by insurance. Be quiet. We need uranium. Uh, all right. And we're going to start bulbing in two turns. Nice. Then we're going to really get cranking on science. So where's Whack-A-Mole heading next? Whack-A-Mole is there. But if I do that, I'm just going to bait. Well, I could just bait this guy in. It'll be easier than having him run away, eh? So let's just bait him in. He can take the worker. Then I'll just take it back with one of my infantry. It'll be all right. Every little thing is going to be all right. But it wound up, but don't worry about a thing. All right, go here. We're gonna have to repair that, but that's all right. Actually, we do need to repair that. Damn it, that's production. That's production. I need. That's all right. We'll figure it out. Okay, uh, carrier, stay there. What else? Cavalry. No really use for you right now because you're a little flimsy. If I had more oil, you know what? That's why I really want to take this. Honestly, then I should be able to have tanks, and tanks own. Uh, yeah, thirteen extra oil. I think Stavanger is definitely on my list of things to take, but Christiana first and foremost, I believe. So, is everyone being covered by the Admiral? No, they are not. But that's going to have to do. That guy's a little, little out of Admiral range. We should be all right. All right, we're well, obviously not going to settle there anymore. All right, please tell me I expanded that oil and I don't steal it. I'd be so sad. All right. What is next? Gustavus is in the Atomic. Welcome, friend. Swedes have moved their battleships over. They may be coming after me. Who knows? Um, what are you going to do, Sweden? Norway? Answer is not much. He's going to flee for the most part. I don't think this Torden Skilled actually has plus one range. So, are you serious, dude? Or did you just freaking pretty much give up? Well, he may be counterattacking, actually, against my cities. But that's what these submarines are supposed to be for. All right. Good. So, another wolf packer. Nice. Ooh. This is why Total War is awesome! Triple wolf pack, baby! Nothing stands a chance against these submarines. Except another Vilnian submarine. Hi. Remind me not to be near you in a second. You can devastate this, though. Goodbye. You can get free shots in on this. So can you... Oh, no. One more shot. And we're going to use our battleships, obviously, to melt down some of our... Ha! He's afraid of taking our worker. That's so funny. So we are working that tile, yes. All right, let's see if we can whack a mole this a little bit. Whack your mole. All right, so where did he even go? Probably in here. So we're probably going to whack a mole those and turn them into trading posts and reduce the growth, get more money. That's the idea. All right, so uh, I, I kind of want to just do the Apollo program before I forget because inevitably I'm going to be like, let's build spaceship parts because we can't win any other way. And then I totally forgot I didn't do the Apollo program. On the other hand, I do want the National Epic. I do want the Heroic Epic. Uh, I do want another defensive air wing here. And that, I think, is more important. I'm going to get three fighters up. That's going to almost tax my oil to the breaking point. But 
if I do get a Dal from Finland or someone else, I need to have a defensive air wing. So they bring a carrier, I'm going to be meat. So Juan is going to be busy with that. Uh, everyone else is going to be busy with other things, I think. Kill the Danish spy. Sorry, man, but you can't be stealing from me. I know I kicked your butt, but you can't be stealing from me like that. It's not cool. It's not kosher. Totally not kosher. Um, ah, here we go. Let's take a peek what we got out here. Not much, apparently. This is the answer. Okay, well, Admiral, line up. The line of battle is prepared. We're just going to be beating the snot out of Christiana at this point. Uh, yep. Jesus, these battleships are brutal. I, just, I mean, it's like this not even a contest. It's just freaking annihilation. Do we have anything I need to worry about over here? It's Danish Norwegian sub, but I don't see any units from Norway. I mean, Sweden, Norway. Danish Norway is here. It's this this playthrough, I gotta say, just keeping everyone straight and who's allied or country fused with whom is a little convoluted. All right, well. I mean, so far so good, I guess. I'm not really getting any resistance, which is nice. My submarines are bored enough that they're going to have to start shooting down freaking archaeologists, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, it's just a little weird. We're in range of our interceptors, so we're safe pretty much from any position. So this is going relatively well, actually. If he does try to come over here, he's going to have a submarine waiting for him. That's going to be not pretty. Probably buy up another one just to be safe. I need another one. Uh, 650. Yeah, I know. I know. You're like, oh my god, he's not a veteran. I know. But, like, if I see those ships, I need to be able to knock him down, like, one a turn. Otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble. All right. Uh, battleship's still there. God, we're doing a lot of damage. Uh, let's just sink the other guy, I guess. This battleship can loop around. I mean, I'm a little concerned about what may be waiting for me on the land, but it doesn't look like there's anything, so. Christiana again, and then that looks like the destroyers may be ready to take it at a moment's notice. Keep an eye out for submarines. You just cover a little more in tight. Admiral, stay here. So we cover everyone except for that sub, but that's all right. You can't quite get into the city yet. So why don't you cover here and hang. Uh, battleship. Yeah, you can't fire anymore. Yeah, that's going way better than I thought. Let's just pillage some money first. One. We'll pillage up in a second. We'll get all your farms pillaged. Vatican, I need money. Always need money. I'm spending hand over fist for military. And you can wait up. I mean, there's gotta, there's gonna have to be a counter stroke here. I mean, AIs kind of like to do that. They let you like fight, 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 and then suddenly, bang! Here's 50 units you didn't remember about, and then it gets annoying. But we are gonna be able to bulb in a turn, and that's gonna be really, really nice. So go there. Yep. Improve that. You go down here and improve that. You just be defensive, I guess. You have my submarines watching all my angles. I can still beat the crap out of this, though. Yay! Okay, cool. What I'm probably going to do is just set up an artillery here and keep using it to shoot things. I need more experienced artillery is what I'm trying to say. All right. We can put this here and maybe bait that infantry into attacking it. This is out of the city still, so we're all right. Uh, Alvaro, stay there. Uh... You know, Alvaro can actually move one tile up so he has the submarine near him. Cav. Yeah, just fortify for a second, then we're going to have you pillage more stuff. Oh, you're going to heal from pillaging. What am I talking about? Just get up there. Get up there, son. You can do some pillaging for me. And it doesn't look like there's anything I can get fired out by, so that's fine. Cryo ship, where were you going? You were going somewhere. Where was that? Were you food? You were food to go on. Keep doing that. Uh, there. Next turn. Okay. See what the front has to offer. I love his animation. Ugh. Takes his helm off. He's just like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. He tosses in the water. This is such a great. I love the animation. So good. I forgive you, buddy. Come back. Come back. We can still be friends. No. No. Um. Okay. Probably decorated from Sweden. All right, whatever, man. All right, not much happened, I guess. Do we have a counterstroke here? Okay, he brought some Torden skills out, and that's nice. I, I admire. Wow. Okay, Dano Norwegian destroyer trying to steal my thunder and steal my city out from under me. That's that's not cool. But this is what we were worried about before. We'll get him though. Logistics, baby. Love shack, baby. Love shack. Uh. All right, we can get Christiana down 
the only concern, obviously, is going to be uh, these Tordon skills uh, bombarding the crap out of it. But I think with a couple well-placed short, sharp shocks to the back of the head, they can be removed from play. Hi. Goodbye. Okay, that is excellent. Uh, and then, yeah, so we can definitely take Christiana this turn. With the amount of damage we can do with our battleships. Yep. And you can actually move in, Destroyer. Yeah, you can. Okay, good. Cool. You got promoted as well. Okay, that's scary because you already had logistics. Bang. Okay, Christiana's down. Boom. Boom. Thank you. Great puppet for now. That's a lot of people and a lot of great works. I love it. Okay. Uh, I guess no military here to speak of. Yeah, he did not plan this defense through, did he? Well, it looks like Stalingrad is my next target, because that's a lot of oil. And this is going to cripple my happiness a bit. Um, but he has a nice amount of aluminum as well. Look at that. Ten aluminum. And probably going to expand that aluminum at some point, though. That might be a competition between him and Norway. Okay, uh, worth it, I think. Damn, that's really good. Unique luxuries? No, I don't think. But we did get uh, aluminum and his capital and all those wonders. So that alone is nice. Uh, what we're going to do with our happiness soon? Not entirely certain, given that Stavanger is here and we want it. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. He did overextend pretty hard, though, I think. I think what happened is that because he didn't have a lot of room here... He expanded overseas a lot. I mean, how many cities does he actually have? Uh, no, I didn't lose the will to fight. Are you serious? You just lost your capital and you have no defensive military and you seriously just smack-talking me? Okay, man, whatever. You know what? You just stay over there on merry old England. Go over there, have some haggis with the Scots, have, I don't know, some good blood pudding with the English, and, you know, just just do your thing because obviously you're not you're not in any position to win this war, so that's cool, I guess. All right, uh, we do want to pillage. No, there was a trader out here, but it ran away. We fired already, so we're going to move up here and get ready to fire on more stuff. But first, but first, uh, well, Admiral needs to be in defensive position. We need to kill that so we can't retake the city. Good. We need to kill this so it doesn't blow me up. Good. Get the Norman infantry landed so we can interdict anyone trying to take the city. Good. We're still covering with our air wing. Perfect. We're still out of range of Stavanger. Good. We're not out of range of that skilled though. On the upshot, we're still in friendly waters, so we should still be fine. We'll take a little bit of a hit there. But uh, other, in other news, we have more battleships. FYI, one, two, three, four. We can go here and bean that Tordenskjold a couple times. Yeah, you just can come out here. All right, so now we got to distribute our Admiralty a little. Uh, Admiral T1 here. Admiral T2 here, so we can still cover. Is that two tiles away or one? That's two tiles away. Okay, that, that submarine's a little out of the range. That's all right. Okay, so we're going to take one hit from the, the, the Torden Skilled right there, and then after that we'll be fine. We have one infantry here, which I guess is nice. Uh, new decisions available. I'm probably going to need to annex Christiana again as well, just to be able to bring a couple units out front easily. The happiness issue is what I'm worried about. I'm constantly trying to get more happiness out of this stuff. And I am building more stuff. Like, I am building a military academy, another military academy here. We're getting an armory here. It's going to come. It's just going to take a little while. How many more do I have to build, actually, in places? Like, this is all military academy already? No, it's not. I might slay on the Manhattan Project then. Yeah, do this first. I need happiness first, bro. So do that first. How about you? Are you... Yeah, you're still shy on military academy right after the factory. Such a big deal with all this happiness running around. Uh, yep, you're doing it already. Good. Can. Yep, right after the factory. But you're gonna be a long time. What is with you? You have an extra person, don't you? Oh, uh, that's okay. You're already kind of not growing fast as it is, so that's all right. You're building one, and you're gonna build it right after the armory. Probably well, after the factory. That's all right. We get the armory up. That's really the point. So we're gonna have like maybe eight more happiness to play with relatively soon. Are you an enemy? Milan. Are we at war with Milan? We are at war with Milan. Okay. Milan, New York, and Japan. Uh, I'm a model. You know what I mean. 
and uh, do my little turn on the catwalk. All right, my deal's ended too, so this will be a little happier. Hi, Finland. I'm glad you wish my people good in my war with them peoples. Hi. Hello again, my friend. Uh, yep. Okay, so never mind. Our problem with having this is not so bad. Uh, we're back at 12. We're about to get more, and we're about to probably take Stavanger, and that'll be pretty much the end of our war against the F Swedish Norwegians. Uh, it's really... It was really one-sided. <laughs> um, they had no military to defend here, and uh, that went ridiculously well. The difference between going well and going poorly is just like a turn or three. Okay, so time to bold. Uh, let's get some some satellites going. I may actually, instead of building these fighters, start building the uh, the Hubel. Uh, but let's discover tech. So close to satellites. Now we have satellites, and we're in the information era. Beautiful. Skies seemed almost alien. No, friend. We're in the information era. Bloody brilliant, that. Okay. So, now we can research a lot of stuff that we would like to have. Um, I think I may go... I mean, I do want nuclear subs. That's three range, and we have three vision. That would just be freaking brutal. It'd be brutal, man. Uh, and eh, globalization doesn't really matter so much. I like finishing this side first before going into the heavy military text this way. For some reason, I mean, I kind of want Delta Force 2. It's going to be really useful and, you know, <laughs> dude, special forces, right? <laughs> Come on. So cool. But nuclear subs is really important. And mobile tactics is nice because then your infantry just get, like, super powered in three moves. And we already have strong infantry and all that cool stuff. So what I'm probably going to do... Oh, but then I can get tanks. And when I get the oil, I can totally just freaking beeline modern armor and then go to my GDRs. You know what? Freaking, we have GDR tech. Let's just go to GDRs. Uh, we're going to need a lot of techs, obviously, to get there, but nuclear fusion, that's where I'm going, comma, baby. Uh, let's do that, and let's bulb some more. Hi. Nice. Merit Pta. Nuclear fu fission. Cool, that means we get bazookers. Berserkers. Ermigard berserkers. It's not bazook berserkers, it's bazookas. Spoken in that Ermagerd verse. Ermagerd. Advanced Blursterks! Advanced Blursterks! Okay, and we can start going for nuclear non-proliferation now. Maybe someone will. Uh, it's obviously not going to be me since I don't have that much influence. More technology. I told you this would be fast. That's <laughs> just brutal, man. I love it! Do we have any more great scientists? Uh, let's see. Military overview. We do not. Okay, that's fine. We good. Uh, we'll just build that there, uh, Hubel telescope here real fast. Do you mind? Yeah, 16 turns. Do you mind doing that? Mind doing that for me? Can you do that for me? You have a great day. Maybe I should just buy fighters. Screw it. I have so much money. But I'm going to be upgrading, but I have so much money. Let's just... We'll leave that one fighter in queue because we're going to need it, but let's just wait till I get my military academies up and a few other places. Well, you have one here in... No, you don't have one in Gothenburg. Who has one? Can does not have one, I don't think. Or maybe it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, so pretty much the only place with military academy is... Huh? Really? Sanlo doesn't have one. Oh, poo. Okay, we'll just wait for the two turns in Dieppe and just buy... Or have have Dieppe build uh, the fighters. Because they're going to be pretty quick here, too. Yeah, six turns is fine. Do it. Fighters. Fighter-rama. Uh, beautiful. Okay, Dieppe grew. That's what we saw. Decisions are available. Which ones? Uh, subsidizing stuff. Oh, we have a lot of money. I'm going to need to be upgrading some stuff in a little bit, but not that much money. I could probably... Well, these upgrades are expensive. It's 260. So I'm going to go through my money pretty fast once we get extra oil. Um, like here and there and everywhere. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's awesome. We have their capital. Yay! That was really easy. Chevalier. <laughs> the guy is actually calling himself cavalry. All right. Well, whatever flutes your boot. Uh, we should... Are we in Kabul? We already are in Kabul, are we not? Uh, yep, Bernard is in Kabul. We're about to rig this turn. Uh, we should probably go maybe to Prague. I'm looking for cultural city-states right now or stuff that would be annoying to get my stuff pillaged from. I already kind of have most of those covered. Uh, I could go to uh, Vancouver's food. How hard would it be at Milan? 207. Yeah, that shit ain't happening. Uh, Byblos, no. I think Prague is the choice. Yeah, let's go to Prague. At least be friendly with them for a little bit. Get a little extra culture out of it. Prague? Praga. Jesus uh, Chulu. There we go. Prague. Have fun, Chevalier. Uh, I guess we have nothing to do here except bombard the crap out of Vilnius. So let's do just that. Hi. 
No, we can, we can kick the crap out of this a little. It could be useful. It could be entertaining and uh, good for the kids. It's good for the kids. Go here and boom. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna blow you up. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, shit. He did not look so good. All right, nice. Uh, cool. Cool. Yes, yes. Make that uranium mine. I need it. I want it. It's my precious. Finish that railroad. Good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you, you're, we're whack a mole -ing. That's right. We're whack a mole -ing and we're whack a mole -ing and we're going to go here and whack a mole some more. You were really got nothing. Oh, hi. That's what we're looking for. Bye. I knew there's one out there. Cheeky git. What kind of ships do you have? Great war bomber still. Okay, really? It's just... My tech is now starting to be superior to all others. Hey, you made it! I'm glad you did, because you need to repair some stuff, like that one in particular. We can pillage some more stuff here. Hi. Thank you for your service. Uh, we're still out of range of everything here, right? Yeah, okay, so we can just hang out there. You go here and pillage. Thank you. Thank you for your service. It is most obliged. I guess we'll just stay here and just pillage all their stuff. I mean, that's pretty much what I want to do. Uh, you know, more submarines to worry about, but let's just make sure there aren't any floating around here. Our navy is so strong this game. It's nice. It's nice to play naval and actually have a decent, decent control over the high seas. It's good. It's good. It's a good feeling. All right, carrier hangout. We have back cover in case there's any submarines coming out here from Sweden, Norway, and that's good. You hang there for a second. We'll pillage some more. You'll just pillage and run away in a bit. Okay, cool. Uh, yep. Alvaro, stay. Cargo ship, what were you doing? You were which way? Are oh, you going to Prague? Uh, didn't... Oh, the Vatican's at war with me, so that's obviously not going to work. I may have to go against someone else at some point. What are my next best routes? I'm afraid I'm going to need to deal with the Norwegians soon. Uh, but before then, I'm probably going to need to deal with the Icelanders. Because um, looking here, now we have satellites. We can kind of see what's going on. I may, uh, actually, folks, this one's been going, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say really long, but it's gone on long, so I don't think I'm going to call it here. But now we can kind of see and plan our next steps uh, on how to get this game won. Stockholm is going to be hard to take, so we're going to have to loop all the way around to Stockholm. And Reykjavik is going to be annoying because it's going to require land warfare, but with... Oh, it's a thorn. They actually put a... Th hey, cool, it's Thingvellir, or Thingvellir. I love that symbol. i got to start using it more in my writing. It's a TH symbol, by the way. Uh, so, Thingvellir is here, and, and Reykjavik is in, inland, and that's part of an issue that I need to address when I try to go for them. Helsinki's got pretty much the same problem. Like I said, once I get GDRs, we're just going to stompy stompy over everything. Um, so, yeah, there are some plans afoot on how I can win this, and yeah, what is out here? This is Iceland, I think. Yeah, there we go. Iceland with Geneva and Quebec City on it. Totally legit. Uh, but no one settled here, oddly enough. And there's, it's a pretty nice island. There's a bunch of oil. I would totally sell here if I had the happiness for it. Look at all that oil. That's tasty. You got some aluminum there. A lot of nice strategics. Okay, so that's it for now. We took Christiana. That was an easy, easy fight. Um, we're going to have an easy, easy fight to Stalinger. We're going to gain one, two, three sources, totaling 13 oil, which is going to give us tanks. It's going to give us more aircraft flexibility, and it's going to give us the ability to close this game out. I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, we're a little on the late side. It's turn 330, but with this kind of military... I don't know who can really mess with us at this point. It's it's gonna be it's gonna they're gonna be hard pressed uh, to push back on us. So we're just gonna kind of go through on a burning rampage. Everyone's gonna hate us as long as our happiness holds out. We should be all right. No guarantees there though. Uh, as we're gonna push on, we're probably going to clear the Icelanders out from here. Pretty much burn down Mofsalbakar, move down Akuyeri, and then get toward Oslo. And then God knows what else we need to do because we still have to take Copenhagen here. I have to take a couple. We'll figure that out next time. I've been Nurse. This has been Scandi Million. I'll see you then. Till then.